Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I got a real quick video for you here today. What we're doing, you can see it's fall. I got my hoodie on, leaves are falling. I don't know if you can see my breath or not. It got cold last night, I got down in the 30s. It's time to winterize the pool here in Southern Illinois. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Should be a quick video, follow along. There's been a lot of questions asked. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it. I hope it helps somebody. Let's get started. So the first thing you can see is I got a bunch of dirt and stuff in there. Uh, also, I've already drained it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take me a five gallon bucket now. I'm gonna get the remainder of that water out and those leaves, just throw them out. Um, so we'll do that now. Okay, I think I got enough of the water out uh, and I got the steps moved away. So you can see, let me come over here. You can see it's now only half the diameter of the pool. Uh, what I need to do is I need to unhook the pump. To get to the pump, I, I need to take one of the one or two of the deck boards off. They are a T20. My T20 bit is in my construction trailer at another site, so I've got my T20 driver. I'm gonna remove that now. Here's the pump. I got the top off of it. The filter will go in the trash. Uh, just gonna drain the pump and then I'll stick it back underneath the the stock tank get basically winterized so none of that water freezes and busts it does get you do get some leaves and junk underneath there i'll clean all this up put the pump back in close it up for the winter you can see where i took the screws out to get underneath there to my attachments not a big deal uh, there's the steps that i moved out of the way now what we will do is try to flip this up. okay hopefully that video wasn't too fast you can see what I was doing was I, where my inlet and outlet were over here. I, I worked them around to where they're over here. So now I'll stand this up, get the remainder of that water out, and then we'll lay it back down. I'll do that in real time for you. Well, I got it like this, I'll show you because there's going to be a lot of questions. Yeah, flip you around. Okay, here's what it looks like underneath. You can see the concrete got dirty from where it sets and dust gets underneath it. Uh, but you never see it. I'll clean all that up after the video. Here's what the bottom looks like. This is what I thought there'd be a lot of questions. Um, I believe this is just mud, not rust. Uh, you can kind of see. Uh, this is the second year for it. It's holding up great if you ask me. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it on over this way. I'll have my inlet and outlet, the plastic valves tucked up under here uh, for the winter. And then we'll give you, we'll show, well, let's just do it. question would it be easier with two people three maybe absolutely can you do it by yourself I can uh, 
Just be smart about it. That's all I can tell you. Okay, that's it. It's all winterized. It's ready for the winter. Now what I'll do is I got my power washer sitting right there ready. I'll get out here. I'll, I'll clean that bottom off. Give the deck a good once over. Get all this where my carpets kind of held some dirt over the over the summertime. Get this all cleaned up and looking nice. And uh, that'll be it. So that's it for winterizing the stock tank pool. Uh, if you haven't seen any of those videos, I'll put links to all of them down this, in the description, as well as the frequently asked questions. I think that's the one that uh, gets the most. But if it's not in there, please comment on this video. I try to answer all the questions I can get. As always, we thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.